He's focused on externals. That's really what it is. He, 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 he's, he's not even thinking about his heart. He's, I'm a Pharisee. I'm big about the Bible. Um, but by focusing on externals, he's ignoring what God cares about most. He's valuing what is worthless. He's devaluing what is priceless. He's putting people into categories that the Bible never mentions. I like to think of this as like, um, like, uh, like a yardstick. He, he is uh, measuring people. I saw you out in the hallway. You're a security guy? I'm not scared. <laughs> Lift up your voice and say, that's awful. That is awful. Do you know what you know about somebody by looking at them? Hold up. How, what do you know about somebody by looking at them? You know nothing about somebody by looking at them. How dare you form an assessment of another person? How evil. How completely contrary to the heart of God. And yet, isn't that what we do? We, we look at a person's background, we look at a person's race, we look at a person's, we assess their economic status, we, we, we listen to them speak and form some judgments, we learn about a failure, and we, not with my kids, not them, as though somehow the biggest problem we have to ward off in raising our families is out there and not right in here. Nothing, nothing will propel your children into the world faster than religion. I would say the number one single reason why I'm standing here today as a follower of Jesus Christ is because every time I came home as a kid, I saw my mom sitting at the kitchen table leading the neighborhood women to Christ. I knew she wanted it for more than just us. She believed it was for everyone, and that was so compelling to me. We want our kids to follow Jesus for our own peace of mind instead of for their eternal destiny. We want our kids to follow Jesus because of what others will think if they don't. And what is that if it isn't religion?